A COVID-19 case has been recorded in Brisbane with the source of infection currently unknown. Reporter Michael Rennie joins us now from there. Michael, what can you tell us about this new case? Morning, Lisa. Well, this is very concerning because it is a mystery case in terms of we don't know the source of this infection. It's also the first mystery case we've had in Queensland for around 50 days. It's a man in his 30s who works in the aviation industry, but he hasn't been interstate or overseas uh, for some time. Uh, recently, he hasn't been in the state or overseas. And uh, there are a number of exposure sites, not only on one part of Brisbane, but they're spread out right across the city. Firstly, on the north side of Brisbane, we have exposure sites at Albany Creek, Aspley and Eaton's Hill. Uh, here on Brisbane's south side, we have this uh, Cesar Russ store, which is located at Rockley. This is the only close contact site being listed so far. The man was here last Thursday in the morning between 11.15 and 11.45 a.m. He was also at a childcare centre earlier in the day at uh, Eaton's Hill. That's the, the Mother Duck childcare and kindergarten at Eaton's Hill. He was there earlier, but that, that, luckily that's uh, listed as a casual uh, contact site at this stage. But this is uh, really concerning because uh, Queensland's been enjoying a bit of a COVID-free run recently, Lisa. We haven't had a lockdown here uh, since July, August earlier this year. So we'll get, I need to get a lot more details about well, what's actually happened with this man, where else he may have been, uh, was he fully vaccinated, who else he's come in contact with and, and who else could potentially ha have become infected. And uh, this is all happening on the week where we should be gearing up to host the NRL Grand Final in Brisbane. That's happening on Sunday. But with this unfolding, there's a lot of water to go under the bridge before we get to that game on, on Sunday. Uh, we've seen in the past the Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk has not flinched when it's come to going into a snap lockdown. And the press conference this morning, all eyes will be on that to get this update and to find out just, just how uh, bad this situation could potentially be. Mm. Michael Rennie, thanks for the details.